QA Ninja. Hey guys, your boy the QA Ninja here, back with another episode. Today, we're talking Sega Saturn emulation. I'm going to show you how I repurposed an old laptop and turned it into a Sega Saturn emulating machine using Manafin. Stick around, got a good one for ya. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Manafin website. Link will be below in the description. And Manafin essentially is a multi-system emulator. Some of the systems it emulates right here. But what we're looking for is just we're just going to go to releases here. And then we're going to go ahead and for this we're going to download the latest version 64-bit for Windows. And then we're going to go ahead and extract this to our desktop. And here it is. All right, next we're gonna have to get is the BIOS files for Sega Saturn. So you can go over to my GitHub page and I'm gonna show you right here where to get them. You go down here to Sega Saturn BIOS files or you can go ahead and Google them, the list of them for you so you can get the BIOS files, but you're gonna need these. And then you want to extract them onto your desktop also. So I put them here in the Sega Saturn BIOS folder. So open up Minafin. Click on Manafin EXE application file so everything can expand. You're going to get this error message. That's okay. Just hit OK to close that out. What we're going to need to do is put the BIOS files in the firmware folder. So say about Saturn BIOS files. Open up the folder I've got here. And again, the link to where I got the BIOS files will be in my GitHub page. I'll have that link in the description below also. Let's drag it into the firmware folder here. Close this out. And that's ready to go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is open up Manafin and get some games going here. So we're going to drag the Q file for Fighters Mega Mix over to Manafin EXE. You can always Google True Rip Form for this or Bin Q would also work. Hold Alt and Enter to maximize the screen. And for here to configure the control, you can put in your USB controller. 8-bit DO or Retro Bit should be compatible with this or your keyboard. Hold Alt, Shift, and 1. And then you just follow the directions below. You hit each, each button at least two times. So it can move to the next controller button to configure the pad. Now, Manafin is um, compatible with most games. Some games run better than others. But this happens to be a game that's fairly compatible with it. Again, it depends on the strength of your PC. This is an old laptop that I had, you know, in the attic for a while. It's got an, you know, i3 core. Nothing too crazy, nothing too powerful. But it gets the job done right for something like this. N nothing too, too demanding. Now, Manafin is, you know, it's a great emulator. But it would be much better with a front end. It doesn't have a front end directly with Manafin. But in a future video, I'll show you how to get it up and running with LaunchBox. So it can look a lot more professional, a lot more presentable. And, you know, easier on the eye, so to speak. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Fighters Mega Mix has always been a great game for me. One of my favorites. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was karate, chop that like button and subscribe. Check me out with me and my buddies in the Gamers Realm as we do a Friday night podcast. Details will be below in the description. Also, coming down the pipeline, I'll be also having some fun with some PlayStation 2 emulation. You don't want to miss that. If you're interested in any more, check some other videos out and I'll see you next time.